In this tutorial, we will go through the trading functionality within the terminal, create matrices, and demonstrate how to display trades in a chart. It is possible to place a trade through the in front click trader. This is something that makes placing trades even faster and more powerful if you are a more advanced trader. Click Trader can be accessed by right clicking directly on the instrument. Go to Trading and then click Trading. Alternatively, you can also use the shortcut Control K. Dependent on what kind of terminal you have, you may need to add the Click Trader as an extra service if you do not already have access. Place an order by typing the amount of shares you would like to buy or sell under volume, then select a purchase price. A second order of a different volume and a different price can be chosen. Two orders are now on the book. The click trading window works in the same way as the order window. However, the active orders in the market are displayed below each other rather than next to each other. Click on trades in the trading window to see any active trades. The Portfolio tab shows all current positions of a portfolio. So see all the buy and sell trades in the company chart, right click on the relevant stock, then Charts and Visualization, then click on Intraday Chart. Click on Events, then Trading, and Buy Sell Trades. All buy and sell trades which is shown in the chart will be based on the information that is available in your Trades tab in the Trading Overview window. See the changes in the auction directly on intraday charts and graphically discover market dynamics in real time through the Order Book Visualizer function. This function can be accessed by right clicking on the chosen equity. Go to Chart and Visualization, then Order Book Visualizer. The length is how big the volume is at a specific price. It is possible to create matrices within the Infront Professional Terminal. To create a correlation matrix between two companies, mark the two chosen stocks. Right click and then choose Chart and Visualization, then Correlation Matrix. Here, you can see the correlation between the two companies. To create a seasonality matrix, right click on the selected stock, click on chart and visualization again, and then this time seasonality matrix. Here, it is possible to see how a stock has performed each month historically. Whether looking into commodities or cyclical stocks, a seasonality matrix is a great tool to discover patterns that can lead to your next successful trade. By right clicking on a stock, Click on Trades and Orders and then Trades. Or you can use the shortcut Control T. This will open a trades window for a specific instrument. Here it is possible to see which other marketplaces the specific instrument has been traded. This is possible by having access to multilateral trading facilities known as MTFs, which gives access to other marketplaces that the instrument or stock is traded. If you do not have this option available on your account, please contact support at infrontfinance.com. It is possible to use color codes in your trades window to see if the trade is a hitter or a taker. Click on the three dots to the right of your desktop. Click on Settings, then open Advanced Settings. Go to User Interface, then General. Here, you can change the trade ticker coloring relative to, and then choose Hit a Taker. Green shows when a buyer has purchased at the ask price, who is also called a taker. Red shows when a seller sells their shares at the bid price, also called a hitter. The color codes will be visible in the trades window, but also visible in the trade ticker for any given marketplace. Easily open a trade ticker by clicking on the main menu. Go to Tools and under Utilities, choose either Horizontal or Vertical Ticker. In this example, we use the Vertical Ticker. 
This window screens the whole market. To change the settings in the setting menu, click on the three dots, then go to setup. You can filter the window to a specific market by unticking include all markets, then choose the market you want to display. You can also choose which instruments you do want to display by ticking include all symbols. By clicking include list under the content tab, you can filter to a specific list. Choose a watch list that you have created. You can learn more about watch lists by reviewing our watch list and layouts tutorial. The display button allows you to decide which columns you want to view. For example, timestamp. And finally, under filter, you can filter the size of the trades. For example, filter trades with a minimum of 10,000 by typing 10,000 under minimum value. Should you have any further questions, please contact support at infrontfinance.com.